feel like a significant point. In what way? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a point. It's the first point on the board. We've deserved points in our first two games. In my opinion, the performances deserve more, but we deserve the win today. And that's not to say that Forest didn't compete. They're a team full of good players now, a really good coach. Momentum of coming up into the league. We saw that last week. But when we create 19 chances at home, when we have the quality of chances that we had, it's very difficult to gain uh, control and real confidence in the game if you're not taking those chances. So the, that affects the game, and we're not doing that at the moment in terms of performance. Take a point, but we could have got more. I think the reason I use the word significant is because you were pretty unfortunate in the first two matches in many ways, and that's why it must feel like it's a real point gained. Oh yeah, one there was a point gained going into the game. We want to win. As I said, you tell you're going to create 19 chances today. Then you go, okay, we should probably score at least two goals and, and maybe more. So yeah, things are not dropping. You know, the balls firing around in their box, shots hits them on the body, hits them on the feet, hits them on the knee. Um, you know, we're going through at the end, good opportunities to score goals and we don't take them. And Forest had a couple of themselves, but we certainly had the better of them in my opinion. And as I say, it's not just the, the result. Of course, it affects the result, but it's the feeling in the game. If you score in a really good patch in the first 25 minutes, you feel control, confidence goes through the team. If you don't, you're always in the Premier League. You're liable that um, a moment can go against you. But good character to, to get back and, uh, and get a point out of it. Is it the performance you were overall satisfied with then? I'm never completely satisfied. And um, elements I was happy with, elements not so much. Um, I think that's normal early season. I think most teams will probably be finding that. And the reality with us is we've lost some players, big players at the top end of the pitch. One's injured and um, Richardson left. We're looking to, to, to correct that quickly and, and make it work quickly. That's not easy. Um, and the players that we've had coming in have just coming in. Amadou Anana's not fit yet because he missed pre-season during the course of his move. So Conor Cody's just come in. So you're trying to solve a lot of things at the same time. We, we, we do have a bit of time and we have to have patience with it because it's just the reality of where we're at. It seems a simplicity in the goal, but is it something that you've kind of noticed that you've observed maybe about a way to break Forrest down perhaps? Yeah, yeah, and with Jordan's quality and with the, the speed in our game, we have to be an option. You know, it's, it's not a bad thing to play quality balls over a high line and, and sometimes I think players turn away from it and think in the modern day you have to play short all the time. You absolutely don't. So it was good to see sometimes and the players have to take that in as well. When you talk about things like that and they do it and they see the, the results of it, not just the goal but what that does to defenders, the fear of the ball in behind, has to be a part of that game. Just a final thought, the crowd felt they might go on and win that after the equaliser, did you? Yeah, and we probably had a couple of good, fair fair chances, corner and, and Anthony at the end. On another day, you just score goals. and um, But we know it's an area of the pitch that we... We want to improve when we have the window open and we have to try and, and improve because we saw it last week, a game that we really competed in. Um, ben Ingham scores, Ollie Watkins creates um, and then today Brennan Johnson scores on, on the one chance he really has. So we need to look at that area of the pitch for sure.